Wolf. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on bunny parking. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on the brand new 2000 Gamer Score update. Now, in terms of the base 1000 gamer score, it takes about 2 hours to get the full 1000 gamer score. I have a separate video guide on how to get the full 1000 gamer score. I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description below for you guys. Other than that, the game just got an additional 1000 gamer score, and you can get the new 1000 gamer score in just about 40 minutes. Now, in total, they added 10 achievements. We have achievements related to level progression. We're actually going to have to complete the first five levels on all three difficulties. So a total of 15 levels, we have to complete levels one through five on easy, normal, and hard. I want to point out that if you know a friend that has already got to level five on each of these difficulties, the game actually has online co-op. You can join and just play level five. But if you don't have a co-op partner, you're going to have to play all 15 levels. Aside from that, we have three achievements related to collecting wheels. We need to collect 10 wheels, 15 wheels, and then 20 wheels. Aside from that, we have four miscellaneous achievements, one being getting kicked by the gardener, one for kicking the portal, one for turning into a chicken, and then one for dancing on top of the food. So, first thing we want to do is jump up here. It's going to be basically right behind where you spawn at. You want to jump on top of these bushes, and then you're going to have to run just a little bit and jump on this corner. I missed it that time. More than likely, you're going to miss it on your first time too. But basically, we need to get on top of here, and we need to dance on top of the food. So once I got up here, I went ahead and I pressed Y to dance. Didn't unlock the achievement. And then I ended up jumping on top of what I think is a hot dog, and I tried to dance on top of there as well. And that didn't unlock the achievement either. Uh, basically, what this comes down to is you have to jump on top of the little ketchup bottle and dance on top of that to unlock the achievement. It won't unlock any other place on top of this building. You basically have to be on top of that ketchup bottle. So just make sure that you jump up there. It's a little tricky of a jump, but once you jump up there and you dance, the achievement will finally trigger. All right, there we go. So that's going to be our first achievement. That's the top dance achievement worth 110 gamer score. Next, you want to look out for this egg right next to this building and you can kick it using the X button. After you kick the egg, it's going to turn you into a chicken and you're going to unlock your next achievement called Make Me Chicken. It's worth 20 gamer score. Now, we're going to have to quit out of the game because honestly, I'm not too sure how to change back uh, to being a bunny. So just go ahead and quit out and then uh, jump back into the game. And the next achievement we're going to be going for is for kicking the portal. Now, once you spawn, you just need to follow the road and um, no matter which way you go, you're going to end up at a portal. It's basically a big loop. If you kick the portal, it sends you to the other portal on the other side of the level. Those are the cars right there. Um, that's how we're going to end up collecting the wheels. You need to make the cars crash, and every time a car crashes, it drops one wheel, and you'll need to collect uh, 20 wheels in total. You get an achievement for 10 wheels, 15, and then 20 wheels. So kick the portal, it's going to um, basically teleport you to the other side of the level in which there's a garden over here. Just walk into the garden and you're going to get an achievement called Punishment worth 30 gamer score for being kicked by the gardener. Sweet. So at this point, uh, the only achievements that we should have left are related to level progression and collecting those wheels. Now, I did confirm with the publisher uh, slash developer that there is no way to make the cars crash in this game. Uh, basically, um, as the cars do a loop, they'll end up crashing into each other because um, in my experience, about every three laps, they'll end up in the same lane and they'll end up crashing into each other. So basically, you got to stick around uh, for the cars to basically run into each other. Um, eventually, they're going to uh, spawn in the same lane and crash into each other and they'll drop a wheel. So just keep an eye out for the car crashes. It's going to take a bit, but sooner or later, you'll end up watching 20 different car crashes and you'll collect 20 wheels. One thing I wish the developer would have did is made it so that it dropped four wheels instead of one because that makes a lot more sense. If there was a car crash and all the wheels fell off, you would think it's four wheels. But at least as of this video, it only drops one wheel. So you will have to witness at least 20 car crashes. Now, my method pretty much consisted of uh, basically just jumping on top of the cars and waiting for them to crash into each other. 
you can walk up to a car and I think it's Y to jump on top of it and eventually you just ride a car until it crashes into another car this one kind of took a while but eventually they ended up crashing and I ended up picking up this wheel right here you have to kick the wheel to pick it up which is X that is my first achievement related to collecting wheels that's for collecting 10 wheels now I'm gonna fast forward through my footage because there's really no point and you guys watching me collect all of these wheels as it was a pretty boring process but I'll go ahead and show you guys the achievement pops this is where I got my 15th wheel and then finally we're going to have one last achievement related to collecting wheels that's going to be for collecting 20 wheels all of the achievements are called garbage collector it's just garbage collector one two and three the last achievement uh, for collecting wheels is going to be worth 160 gamer score this is where I got it right here I found that sometimes the cars crashed in this corner as well. There we go. Kicked that wheel and that was my 20th wheel unlocking the garbage collector number one achievement worth 160 gamer score. Now at this point I only had three achievements left in the new update and those were all related to level progression. Again we have three achievements related to beating the fifth level on each difficulty. So uh, if you do not have a co-op partner that basically already has these checkpoints or already has experienced or completed the first five levels you will have to complete them yourself which is a total of 15 levels now in this guide I want to be very clear I do not play all five levels on each difficulty I play levels two through five so four levels on each difficulty I covered the first level of each difficulty in the previous video on the base 1000 gamer score because for the base 1000 gamer score it did require that you completed day one or the first level on each difficulty so if you need the solution for the first level I would refer to my previous guide again I'll have a link down in the description below other than that this is level two on easy and then after this it's going to be level three on easy level four and then level five and then we'll unlock our achievement for completing day five on easy one thing to note is if you're trying to see which level I'm playing it shows it on the lower left hand corner of the screen another thing that you want to know is if you're wondering why you aren't able to kick the cars or anything like that it's because you need to kick the gate to start the level so make sure that you kick the gate to start the level and then you'll be able to kick the cars and again if you're wondering which day I'm playing it shows on the lower left hand corner of the screen as you can see I'm playing day three and it shows exactly how many moves I've made in terms of kicks so basically you're going to have to use the X button to kick around the cars in effort to get your car to the other side of the parking lot I also want to point out that more than likely the colors of the cars are not going to be the same but the cars will be in the same location so you can use my solutions in effort to get through all 15 levels so real quick before I end my commentary I'm gonna break it down for you guys we're playing levels two through five on easy that's four levels of the five levels you need on easy if for some reason you need the solution for the first level on easy it's in my previous video after that you're going to work on medium difficulty or normal difficulty in which you're going to have to complete the first five levels if you already have the base 1000 gamer score you've already completed day one or the first level I'm going to show you days two through five the next four levels I'm gonna rinse and repeat this process for the hard difficulty again I'm showing you levels two through five on hard if you need the solution for the first level on hard refer to my previous video guide so in total I'm showing you 12 different solutions because we already got the first three levels done in the base 1000 gamer score so more than likely if you're doing this solo you're going to have to complete all 15 levels by yourself but if you have a friend that already happens to have the full 2000 gamer score and they're willing to help you out and help you boost they can just select the fifth level complete the fifth level and you'll get those achievements way faster than having to complete the full 15 levels now if that's something you're interested in and you want to find a boosting partner I recommend leaving your gamer tag down in the comments below and maybe you can find someone else in the achievement community that's willing to help you out other than that I'm going to do my best to get some timestamps down in the pinned comment or description below for you guys for each level but as I mentioned before it does show which level we're on on the lower left hand corner of the screen right now we're on day five on easy it shows it in white 
other than that as always i appreciate you guys tuning in if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe
Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.